it's Marley from the Energy Boutique with your energy forecast for July 2024. So on July 5th, we are going to have our new moon in Cancer pop off at 14 degrees, 23 minutes, reaching its peak potency at 6.58 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Of course, a new moon is just as much an ending as it is a beginning, and we are closing out the new moon in Gemini energy. A month ago, we were presented with some pretty extreme options, some very different paths, some very different topics and themes that, of course, as the month kind of unfolded, we had some options, some paths, some directions removed. Especially as we entered into cancer season, that solstice gateway definitely locked in new karmic chapters, new timelines. And for many of us, things got shook up. Now we are in cancer season. The whole point of cancer season is to kind of get real and raw and vulnerable with ourselves to recognize what isn't working, where it is that we're not feeling safe and secure, not feeling nurtured and nourished in our soul space and our emotional space as well. Of course, there's been a major, major spotlight on our home on our family dynamics, on our relationship dynamics, because that part and parcel has to do with the karmic contracts that we're now closing out and now opening up the door to. We in that new moon Gemini cycle definitely had a lot of information thrown at us, had a lot of situations pop off that many of us operating from our egoic programming technically speaking, wouldn't have chosen for ourselves, but the higher self is now in power, in control, and therefore a lot of things were removed from our physical realm that were not meant for our highest potential, for our soul's mission. Now in the new moon in Cancer, we get to figure out what it is that we need to do, what we have to build, what we have to create, where it is that we need to nurture and nourish ourselves back to a place of health and wellness, what it is that we have to build and create as far as a new foundation of our physical realm, our physical landscape goes, and what it is that we need to do in order to heal the parts of self that are very attached to the pain and trauma bonds of the past. Again, this is the particular point in cancer season because we're reaching that halfway mark that we are pulling out of being stuck in the past, of romanticizing the past, of being too nostalgic about, you know, things ending and things not quite turning out the way that we had hoped. And now we're going to become more present. We are going to start looking towards the future, start building, start bringing new routines, new ways of moving through life, new ways of taking care of ourselves into form in order for us to have a foundation to build upon as we kind of align with futuristic goals, dreams, and visions. So I am going to recommend that you listen to the July energy forecast, the intro, the overview that I put out there for your listening pleasure. I'm going to recommend that you download your Zodiac forecast to understand where this particular cancer energy is impacting and influencing your life first and foremost. And of course, there is a moon guide out there for your downloading pleasure in order to keep you in alignment and ahead of these particular energy shifts. It's time for us to do the work. It's time for us to get real and raw and vulnerable with our inner realm. It's time for us to really tackle the pain, the trauma, the wounds from a different level. Now that our higher self has been anchored in, now that we have a new level of awareness and consciousness, we're able to see things from a truly different set of eyes. So of course, this new moon has a lot of positive features working for us, a lot of pros, if you will. Again, you will find the rundown of the pros and cons in the moon guide. But basically, we are gifted with a lot of supporting energies in order to make a change, in order to cut the ties, cut the cords with the past and pivot into a new path, into a new direction. When we look at the elemental energy profile of this new moon, of course, water energy is definitely leading the charge, which means that we're in a healing phase. We're in a cleansing and purifying phase. We kind of have to get rid of the gunk that keeps us very attached to the past, keeps us continuing with the patterns of that ego pain trauma programming. And we are now pivoting, recognizing what we have to do to kind of I'm going to say bring ourselves back to a stable position 
in our emotional realm, yes, in our physical realm, but of course we have to address the problems in our inner realm before we're going to see that change in our external realm. Now, because the water is leading the charge, this is cleansing, it is purifying, it is healing, it's also very transformative. We're bossing up to new levels within ourselves. We recognize what it is that we've been settling for, what we've been lacking in our lives. We are making a great change in order to actually build ourselves up emotionally, spiritually, mentally, physically. And of course, we have to find ourselves in a state of wholeness, a state of completion, if you will, before we can jump into the new karmic chapters that are going to require a lot of energy and effort on our parts in order to build and create something new. So, of course, the Cancer energy is about our emotional realm, about our home, our family, the foundation in which we're operating from. Now, of course, this new moon in Cancer is kind of sandwiched in between the full moon and Capricorns that we got going on here. We had one under the new moon and Gemini influence that, of course was the reason why structures and foundations, timelines, soul contracts fall apart because they weren't serving our highest good. They weren't going to push us into our potential. Now that we have the new moon and cancer popping off, giving us a new emotional foundation to operate from, especially identifying our needs that need to be met before we can go ahead, go on, go further in this particular path. The second full moon in Capricorn that we will be having at the end of cancer season and that is where we truly pivot in the physical realm. That is when we're going to see the manifestation of the changes that are currently taking place within us. So we have a lot of favorable aspects working for us at this particular juncture. Again, there are way more pros than there are cons. And we have a major change and major transformation of our soul, of our spirit, of our inner child that is definitely wanting to come out to play. Venus, of course, the goddess of love, beauty, worth, pleasure, and money. She's also in this Cancer energy. She's kind of close to the sun and the moon in this Cancer energy. Not close enough, in my personal opinion, to call it a conjunction. However, our heart space is definitely wide open. We have Mercury, again, ruler of the mental plane in Leo energy, the heart and soul of the zodiac. So Venus is kind of taking a good look at where it is that we have to kind of work within ourselves to fulfill the wounds, the voids within us. And Mercury in that Leo energy is trying to show us some good ideas, some better ways of thinking, some better ways of talking to ourselves, some better ways of really popping off with some creative solutions to our current problems that, of course, are going to align us with a path, with a direction that is definitely more heart led. Now we have Saturn in a retrograde. We have Neptune in a retrograde now. Pluto is in a retrograde. So there's a lot of internal work going on. There's not as many opportunities to take action and make moves in our physical realm as we would prefer because again we have to build ourselves up to the vibration and frequency that is a match to the goals the visions the dreams that we currently want to manifest so this is like an inner renovation that is taking place to prepare us for the physical changes that are about to come at us here in just a couple of weeks so you're going to want to take a good look at where Cancer energy and Capricorn energy rule in your chart. Again, download the Moon Guide or if you have the Cancer Season e-guide, you're going to want to flip to this particular chapter. We do a little bit of journal prompting in that particular e-guide as well in order for you to understand what you're breaking away from and what you're about to break through two this is the whole name of the game we have to let go of the past in order to actually be present in the here and now to gauge what it is that we need in this present moment that we can now start building creating bringing to life in our physical realm in our emotional realm mental realm spiritual realm that will help us get away from where it is that we've been be more anchored and present where it is that we're at and help us launch us catapult us to where it is that we desire to be.